All right, guys, let's go have a look at the drag three. Drag three. Let's see what's in that box, folks. So, your poo poo, drag three. This product contains nicotine. Okay. This product contains nicotine, which is highly addictive substance, which it does not. 177 watts, gene chip font, super mode, QR code. On the back. Contains drag through device, TPP pod, tank, TPP DM1, DM2, Type-C cable, and user manual. In the box, there's the mod itself in all its glory. Here, was 2mm, but for some reason the silicone fell out of me. Underneath, you get your spare coil, nice sweeties, only joking folks, don't eat these, type C USB cable for firmware upgrading. And that's about it. So we'll take a look at the TPP tank first, guys. So it has, unlike the PNP, this one has a removable 810 drip tip. Your airflow. And what you do on this side, you also do on the other side. Really they prefer this compared to the adapter that came with the Argus GT. As you can see we still have the same PMP issue where we do have a seepage problem but we'll talk about that up in the face cam. So I have already used the one that comes pre-installed which is the 0 0.15. Let's see if I can focus on this. Probably not. There we go. 0 0.15, 60, 80 watts, base 65 to 75. And you do have a minimum line right about there so halfway up the coil really you're you shouldn't add your liquid so you're only really getting to use half the coil as you can see now i've been using this for about two three weeks so you should be getting about two weeks out of the coil guys and uh, we'll fill this up and then we'll talk about the mod so on this one, we have 0 0.2, 40 to 60 watts, best 50 to 55, same minimum line guys as you can see there. And on this we're going to use, uh, we use the black. Homebrew the black, you can get this at ziggysig.com. So we're going to prime it. With you do like every coil on the inside first, always prime inside out. A lot of people, a lot of vape shops too tell you to do the outside, don't do the inside. A couple of drops here and there, let that cotton soak it up. And then 
you'll start to see the outside getting damp. Plug it in, just like you did with the PMP. Fill gasket. I really like this fill gasket compared to the other one. It's in there nice and sturdy with that pin. Right, so on to the device. On the side there, as you can see, drag three. Jane. Voo-poo, excuse the neighbours. <laughs> and then your 510. It's spring mounted. Yep, and it has a good throw there, guys. I really like this. This has been a, a bone of contention with some people where they don't like the wee drag logo there, but I actually do. It sort of sets it off. It is rather light. It's far lighter than what the drag 2 was. Your type C, up down button, fire button, and your battery door. As you can see, positive and negative highlighted there, nice and clear. Julie 18650. So I've got this, we'll get some in. So, negative, positive, and it clips in there. There's no real worry about this one guys, yeah, it's a wee bit flimsy back, front and back, but not sort of side to side, so that's a good sign. And it just clicks in there, no issues at all. So, boom, 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 puff cleared. Always do this on you with the drags. <laughs> so it will come like this. So you'll have your yellow screen, your drag, your battery display, what mode you're in. So we're in smart mode, your wattage, your puff count, which has just been zeroed out, your volts, ohms, time and your wee racy jobber there if you fancy competing with the rest of the ones on Vupu. To clear your puffs, fire button and down. Puff cleared. Fire button and up. Locks. Your wally gent. To change your display up and down the gallery, so you can go into court, which is the way I like it. Far more clear if it would focus. Focus. There we go. Okay. So three clicks goes through your different settings. So this is your, it says R, but it's more your bypass kind of setting because smart mode will only let you go to a certain amount of watts. Whereas this lets you bypass that. So yeah. And if you go right away up, you have the super mode. We'll talk about more of the super mode up on face on our, our our video but yeah not too keen on it basically super mode is it's supposed to fire it talk about it now anyway where we're there instantly there's supposed to be no delay but yeah like i said we'll talk about that up top and that's simple that's basically it guys it is a lot lighter more compact than what the drag 2 was and the material, it's nice. Bit of texture to it. Not so much a leather, but more like a suede type of the fur. But yeah, I really like the way it feels in the hand, guys. Thumb fire or finger fire. So, 
we'll go up top, have a vape, have a toot, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Put it all together here so you can see. Bam! See you up top. Alright guys, so that was the down low of the Drag 3. What's my thoughts on it? I have to admit, I'm really liking the new coils compared to the original PMP coils. The flavour of them is amazing. That's at 50 watts on the 0.2. I was using the 0.15 and I have to say I prefer the 0.2. The flavour on the 0.15 or the 0.15 is amazing, especially with desserts. It kills desserts. Outstanding. This is the black I'm using at the minute from Ombre. And it's a black and black red menthol. And the 0.2 is just killing it. So what do you think of the device? It feels awesome guys and it's really lightweight. The the texture of the like suede material, it gives it like not a luxurious feel. At the end of the day, it's a voo drag. It's never been set out to be luxurious. It's an affordable everyday device that you know is not going to break on you that easily. Because they're always well made. voo has always done the drag to where it's always well made. I work in a vape shop as we know. Um, we very rarely have a return on a drag. It's simple as that. Um, the new uh, chip, the new GeneCon chip. Works flawlessly. I normally don't really stick with spark mode because I tend to use rebuildables on it, use my drippers on it, my RTAs on it as well, and I like going that wee bit higher with them. But when I'm using the PMP or the TPP on it, it is fine. So it is. The new adapter that I have, sorry, with the TPP pod. I feel it more superior than the one that came on the Argus GT, like I said down below. I noticed voltage drop with the Argus GT, and there doesn't seem to be any with this. I've tested it in the Drag Max, and I've tested it on this, and I'm getting the exact same vape experience, which tells me there's no voltage drop. So that's also a plus on it as well. Now for the con. Putting this between, up against the Drag 2, which I will be doing video later on down the line. The battery life seems better in the Drag 2 than it does on this. So I don't know if it's something to do with the new chip. Maybe there'll be an upgrade for that to sort that out for the, the management of the batteries. But I have noticed the battery life is shorter. So that's one to look out for. But apart from that, guys, it's a dual 18650. You're going to get all day out of it, it's even still. I just noticed with the drag too, and maybe we maybe get a wee bit longer than what I get with this. But that said, guys, on that part, now we're going to talk about super mode. Back in a sec. Super mode. What is super mode on the drag three? It's a new addition. It's part of the new uh, new chipset. Basically, they're saying once you between 0.1 and 0.3, you go into super mode over a certain wattage level. So on the build I've got in this at the minute, I have dual aliens from Nature Boop. Uh, they're 0.3 single coil, so I'm oming out on the Vupu at 0.17. So once I go past 80 watts, I hit super mode. So it goes red, it says super mode at the bottom. The whole idea is you're supposed to hit the button and instantly bang. So on the Asgard Mini, I have Butterscratch Custard from Exceptional Vip. Let's go. And it does fire instantly. Don't get me wrong. It's it does. There's no like 
delay there. But take the ass guard off. Put the TPP pod back on. Not at 90 watts. Back down to 50. Very straight away. What's that about? I think it's just a gimmick, guys, or it's something that they're still working on and maybe in the firmware upgrades or in the next device from Vupu in the drag series. I, so I don't notice a difference that way. To me, it's just a 90 watt hit and it fires straight away. But the whole idea of the super mode is that it only fires straight away with a super mode. But it's there's literally look, no delay. So I don't know, guys. Apart from that, I'm happy with it. Um, that's the only con, really, is I think the super mode's a gimmick and was a big like selling feature of it. But apart from that, there's no real cons with the device. Like I say, lightweight, it's nice and comfortable, goes in the pocket fine, and it's an all day mod, guys. I've been the Belfast Beard of Vapor. If you like what you're saying, give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, give a thumbs down. Don't give a fiddler's fuck either way. Keep her dead, folks.